Hi, my name is Martina Bex, and I want to share with you how to edit the virtual background slide for story asking that Alicia Cardenas and I shared with you following our uh, online story asking session. So basically on your slide, you have along the left hand side, a place to put core vocabulary words. These are the words that are going to be most important to the lesson that you are teaching. So if you're telling a story, the um, new focus words that are going to uh, appear a lot of times in your story. Um, you can see up here, I wrote the third person singular forms because that's going to appear most in my story. But students will also hear the first person singular forms. So I wrote those down here um, in the bottom left hand corner. Um, you can put whatever words you want in here. All you need to do is click in this. This is a shape. So you can just click on the words and change them to whatever you need to change them to. Uh, you can change the colors, you can change the size, you can change highlighting, you can change anything you need to. If you need more space for this text box or if you uh, want less space, you can modify it here using this little grabber. Um, on the right hand side, you can change the background color. So if you want your words to be separate from the background color, it's really easy to change that. You just click on background and then color and then um, you know whatever color you would want. Um, if you wanted to, you could change the color of this box as well if you wanted the whole thing to be different or you could make it transparent. But I do like having it all be white personally just because it looks more like a whiteboard. Um, and then along the top here, you see um, some words. These are supplemental words that are going to help with the story but are maybe not necessarily core words. This is a table. So this is a table with one row and five columns. And um, in this, this uh, table, you might put question words. If you watched our session with Alicia, she uses her question words. She has signs that she pulls up and she does that purposefully to slow her down while she's doing the story. So instead up here, she might write words like, but, or, Entonces, which means then, things like that. So story, uh, storytelling words that will come up during the story but don't carry a lot of meaning. Um, if you want to change, if you want to add more words or manipulate this, remember just it's a table. So you can see, you can, uh, oops, you can manipulate the, um, uh, the size of the columns here by moving that around if you need to. If you want to add another column, you just right click and then insert column left or right and you'll get a new column. It'll automatically resize to the width of the page. You can highlight the whole thing and change the size of all the text at once if you need to. So it's very easy to modify that. If you end up taking away a column for whatever reason, I mean, you could just delete the text in a spot. Um, but if you wanted to, for whatever reason, delete a column, you just right click and then uh, delete a column. And then you will just need to resize the table to uh, match the formatting. So very easy to modify. Once you have the slide all set, you have all the words that you want on it, you're going to go to file, I should say, Make sure that the slide that you want to um, use as your background is selected here um, in the finder window. Then file, download, and then JPEG, current slide. And then one trick, sometimes depending on, you'll see in our instructions sometimes with Zoom or with Google Meets or with Teams, um, it, you might need to reverse the image because if you're using it as your virtual background, Zoom might flip it so all the words would appear backward. A really easy way to um, fix that right now while you're still in Google Slides is if you just make a blank slide. So insert or um, slide and then new slide, or I just duplicated it. Just delete everything from the slide, make a blank slide. And then upload the picture that you just took, that you just downloaded as the JPEG. 
So you'll see here is the slide that I just downloaded as a JPEG. I'm going to make it the full size. So this is an exact duplicate of what I just downloaded. And then you can go to arrange, rotate, and flip horizontally. So now you have a reverse image of your slide. And then, this is a little two-step thing, if you download it as a JPEG again, now you'll have a reversed image of whatever you wanted to use as your virtual background. And so if you have to flip an image for your um, conferencing platform, that's a really easy way to do it.